O Lord, and ask me this year, recommend me in the workplace and the business sector in Jesus' name. Open for me the door of recommendation that will take me to my desired throne of honor and greatness this year by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Claim this prayer. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Thursday. November 9, 2023. This is Love All. Taking you open heaven. A guide to a close friendship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an heaven language. Hallelujah song will never say so I'm out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is when God commends you. When God commends you. I remember first I may find the book of Psalm 145, verse 8. I read. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. Every now and then, God commends his children. He tell them that he is pleased with them. When this happens to you, don't become full of yourself, because he's the only one and being gracious. The Bible says that God is perfect and it expects perfection. Matthew 5, verse 48. Ephesians 25, verse 27 make it clear that Jesus Christ is coming back for a bride without blemish. Or we go, are you perfect yet? If God say, well done my son, you are doing great, he is holy be gracious. In John 1, verse 8, he said, Job, Job was a perfect and upright man. But then in Job 30, verse 1, Job said, Things that a just man should not, when God called him as just, he was only be gracious to him. In number 12, verse 3, it is written concerning Moses that he was the meekest man on the earth, but he was well known for his violent temper. God commendation is only an extension of grace. You must never let it get into your head. If you do, you will soon realize that you are nowhere in the first place. The Bible says clearly in Romans 9, 15 to 16, I read, For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. It is not the work and effort you put in that will make it justify. It is true that you must put in effort. If not, you may not even get a chance of being commended at all. But the effort does not justify you. It is only God's mercy that justifies you. Never forget that when God commends a person, the failure effort will yield greater results than his or her action. When you start seeing this happening to you, you must remember that it is when God decided to have mercy on you. Different things will happen. When God commends a person, the failure effort we get a greater result. When you start seeing this, God decided to have mercy on you. Don't begin to think that you are perfect because you are not. Brother, thank Him for His mercy. Acknowledge your weakness before Him and even before people. Ascribe all glory to Him and not to your efforts. Because without him, you can do nothing. John 15, verse 5. Ready? I want us to read the book of Psalm 8, verse 1 to 6. And our Bible in one year, John 18, verse 19. Our hymn, 
in 31. Wonderful story of love. Wonderful story of love. Our key point for today, God commendation is a call to be more humble and to work harder. God commendation is a call to be more humble and to work harder. And I pray my Father in heaven will commend you in all areas of your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Ready? This is the fall. Till I come away tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share it with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.